Hello, everyone. I'll talk about critical Takunaga branching processes. This is joint work with Ilya Zalepin of University of Nevada, Reno. I'll begin by uh, in, uh, some very basic notions such as Horton pruning and Horton stroller order. Let T be a random rooted tree that is also reduced. Reduced means it has no vertices of degree two. Horton pruning removes the leaves and their uh, parental edges from the tree followed by serious reduction. Serious reduction is removing each degree two non-root vertex by merging its adjacent edges into one. Horton pruning induces the Horton stroller orders. Uh, uh, the Horton stroller order of the tree is defined as the minimal number of Horton prunings necessary to eliminate the tree T. We let n sub k of t denote the number of branches of order k in, in the tree. So, uh, consider a tree t uh, with a root, uh, so rooted reduced tree, uh, the uh, Horton pruning uh, produces the hierarchy of segments of the tree uh, in the following way. Uh, start with the tree and start pruning off the leaves as the first Horton pruning. And by leaves, we mean leaf vertices and the parental, uh, their respective parental edges. So the leaves are pruned in the first Horton pruning. Then uh, series reduction is performed. Uh, removing the vertices of degree two, making uh, the tree with three leaves. In the second Horton pruning, the um, three leaf segments are removed and uh, series reduction uh, merges the two edges into just one. So the tree consists of just one leaf. And finally, the third Horton pruning eliminates uh, the rest of the tree are uh, leaving only the root. So, uh, all the segments of the tree that were removed after one Horton pruning are color coded blue here, they are leaves. Uh, that is, they are branches of order one. Uh, there are 15 of them, so N1 is equal to 15. Um, now, all the uh, connected segments that were eliminated after the second pruning, uh, and there are three of them, are the branches of order two. So we write N2 equal to three. Finally, uh, there is only one segment, uh, one branch of order three that was eliminated after the third pruning. It's color coded purple here. Uh, so the whole whole tree was eliminated after three, three pruning. So Horton stroller order of the tree is three. Now, if we deal with the numbers n one and two and three uh, here, or as the, uh, we sample larger and larger trees, uh, then if we fix k and look at the ratio n k over n one, uh, uh, the asymptotic equivalence of that ratio as we sample of a uh, larger and larger random tree being uh, of order r to the power one minus k where r is the Horton exponent, uh, r is greater or equal than two. This asymptotic uh, ratio is called the Horton law, which is um, originates for hydrology and found the use in uh, multiple um, other applications. So that's what we will establish here using Martingale, so one very particular and important process. Uh, the process is called critical Tokunaga process. So it's a, a process where there are two input parameters, gamma uh, bigger than zero and C bigger than one, the uh, Tokunaga uh, exponent. Uh, so the process is a continuous time, multi-time branching process. Uh, it, uh, um, the, the types in this multi-type process are the horton strollin orders. So it starts with a single progenitor whose uh, horton stroller is randomly determined 
as a geometric uh, um, random variable with a parameter one half. So it is of order k with probability two to the minus k. And from there, it starts branching according to the following rules that I also copy to the next uh, slide. So um, a branch of order j uh, uh, produces offsprings uh, 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 that is side branches of every order i less than j with rate gamma times c minus one times c to the minus i for the order i as drawn here, the side branches, while the main br branch of order j continues until it terminates uh, and it terminates with rate gamma times c to the power one minus j and at its termination time a branch of order j if j is greater or equal than two splits into two independent branches of order j minus one finally if the branch is just a leaf uh, uh, that is a, a, it is of order one then it terminates uh, it terminates uh, without leaving any offspring uh, 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 here is the literature where you can read about the process uh, in particular, the probability survey has the most uh, of uh, the literature, um, uh, uh, most of the results needed here. Uh, so, um, uh, there are lots of self-similarity in invariance processes. In particular, if uh, we consider the second parameter C equal to two, uh, then the uh, process is just the continuous time critical binary Galton Watson process with intensity gamma. Uh, let mu sub k denote the three measure induced by the critical Taganaga process when we condition on starting with order k. So we create a mark of three process uh, epsilon sub k where each opson sub k is distributed as a tree induced by the critical Takanaga process condition of having order k. That is, opsil, each opson sub k is distributed according to mu, mu, mu sub k. Um, we also let x sub k uh, denote um, the uh, number of leaves, that is, it's n1 of opson sub k. And y sub k is the total length of the tree epsilon sub k. So the tree process is constructed as follows as list, uh, uh, these are steps listed below. Uh, so I copy those steps here with an illustration. So first of all, epsilon one is just an I-shaped tree, that is just a leaf. So there x1 is equal to one, there's only one leaf. And y1, which is the length, is just length of the length uh, of the leaf, which is exponentially distributed with parameter gamma. Condition on epsilon sub k, three epsilon sub k plus one is obtained in the following three steps. First, you scale uh, the uh, three epsilon sub k by c, uh, uh, that is, you multiply each edge length uh, in the three by c, and obtain the three epsilon sub k prime. Next, you uh, go over the epsilon sub k prime as the carrier space with the Poisson process with intensity gamma times c minus one times c to the minus first power and place the uh, leaf uh, edges, um, leaf side bran uh, branches. And finally, at the very uh, top uh, of every leaf of epsilon sub k prime, you also add a couple of new leaf edges. Each newly attached leaf edge uh, is uh, an ID exponential random variable with parameter gamma. They are obviously independent of uh, each other and of the pri all the prior history. So let me draw it here. We start with epsilon sub one being a leaf with a, an exponentially distributed length. 
this parameter gamma. Next, we go, uh, in order to go from epsilon one to epsilon two, we go through um, an intermediate step by um, uh, scaling the three C times. Next, we go with the Poisson process with intensity gamma times C minus one C inverse and place the side branches and the, we top it uh, uh, with a, a pair of new leaves. Um, next, we go from epsilon two to epsilon two prime uh, by scaling it C times, and then we attach the leaves with again the Poisson intensity process, and then uh, on top of every leaf of epsilon two uh, prime, we also attach a pair of leaves and that way we'll obtain option three and so on. Now recall that x sub k denotes uh, the number of leaves while y sub k denotes the length of the tree. So if we make this quantity m sub k of uh, x sub k and y sub k with r equal to 2c which will later on turn out to be the our Horton exponent then we'll observe that what we'll obtain is M sub K will be a martingale with respect to the Markov tree process uh, Opsilon K. Now that martingale uh, can be shown using martingale techniques. Um, uh, it, uh, we show the, its convergence and the convergence implies the following um, uh, almost sure convergence of nk of epsilon k over n1 of epsilon k. So for this Markov tree process, we establish almost sure Horton uh, law, um, right? Uh, and then uh, if we go back to the original critical uh, Tokunaga processes, then it um, uh, implies uh, the strong Horton law for branch numbers below, that is the um, convergence uh, in probability for um, the k, uh, number of uh, k, um, order k uh, branches in, in uh, 3t um, as we increase the order of the tree, capital K. To infinity. Thus, we prove uh, the strong Horton law via Martingale uh, techniques. Uh, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to uh, communicating with you about um, this result.